Okay, so in example B, Gary, you say you're saying that this is a what kind of situation? Independent or dependent? Dependent. And explain how so. All right. Did that make sense to you guys? Yeah. 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 If I get yeah. Jenny on my team, there's no way that Jenny could also be on the other opposing team. Jenny has to be on one or the other. So once I take Jenny, she's off the board. She can't be taken on another team. So then we have to choose from who's left. And Diana's left. So therefore, Diana was picked because Jenny was ahead of her. This decision influenced Diana's uh, uh, place when she got picked. Clear? Yeah. Totally dependent situation there. How about an example C? This time what we have going is 10 people are in for a raffle, and there's two iPods being chosen. So Sam's the first winner. He gets the first iPod. Can Sam win again? No. No, so Sam's out. How many names are now in the? Nine. 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 So Sue is a second winner. Is example C a situation where it's independent or dependent? Independent. Independent. Independent? Yeah. So Sue was chosen totally independent of Sam's selection? Yeah. Yes? All right. Let me draw this picture. It is a random raffle. You're right. But there's 10 tickets here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What are your, let's say there's 10 people, what's your chance that you win right now? One out of 10. One out of 10. Okay, well Sam wins, okay? Now how many tickets are left in there? Nine out of 10. There's nine. What is your choice of being selected in the second round? One out of nine. One out of nine. One out of nine. Which one is a better chance of winning? One out of nine. One out of nine, one out of nine does. So in an example C, we have a dependent situation because we increased Sue's chance of winning. In the beginning, Sue only had one out of 10 of winning. But after a winner was chosen, now there's less people to compete against. So Sue only has one out of nine chances. That's better. We improved her odds. So that's why in example C, this is a case of the dependent situation. Does that make sense to you guys? No. No? Yes? OK, now it does. Is that what you're saying? OK. So the concept of independent versus dependent events has to do with, is there any influence? Did we influence Sue's opportunity of winning? Heck yes, we did. In the previous situation, yes, we did affect Diana's ch chance or time that she was picked. And in event A, Bob, he was, cho he was choosing a hamburger totally independent. Didn't matter what other people did. 